Hi everyone. Uh, I just wanted to talk a little bit about the transformational journey today. Um, I had written something and um, maybe I'll play off that, but I'll, I'm going to read what I wrote first. Uh, I hope you're doing really good. Uh, if you're going through hard times right now, I think it's best to really come to source, to hang out in what's real, uh, to not form thoughts or judgments or expectations about things, to really come into what's e internal and focus on the things that we want, focus on the things we're grateful for, uh, and that'll kind of help get us through those murky parts. But in the meantime, here's a little talk about transformation. Because I think there's so much going on with it right now. And there's, I don't know, it's like, what are we talking about when we talk about stepping into our power and being in the light and the hero's journey and transformation? And here's some thoughts on it. So we play around with a lot of ideas, but we don't always follow through fully with our dreams. Our dreams aren't this childhood answer to this childhood question, what do you want to be when you grow up? Our dreams are the feelings that we have underneath all the conditioning, right? Underneath all of the material, underneath all of the programs. Our dreams have nothing to do with sleeping and everything to do with being very, very awake. Our dreams are not dreams at all, in fact, they are our intuitions. They are our internal knowingness. They are our internal compass. We are underneath something pure, something natural, something true. Underneath, we are our potential. Getting to that potential, that is the transformational journey. That is that removing. That is that lifting the veil to see what's underneath. That is what we're talking about when we're getting to those places. And what covers that up? Well, a lot of things cover that up. Trauma, that's a big one. That's a big one because we get stuck in the trauma. We get stuck in the world sort of happening to us and being and I, and, and we gotta get out of this language, I think, of the victim mentality. It's not about victimhood. It's about the world happening to us versus us creating our world. Those are two different things. And the transformational journey is going from that one space to the other, where we hold res ourselves responsible, where we get into that place of, validating our own self, creating love and space for our own self that's not dictated ever by our surroundings. Meaning, it do, it's not that we don't care about what people say or do or behave or act around us. It's that that doesn't dictate our behavior. That doesn't dictate our reactions. That doesn't take away or dim our light. It doesn't matter and we let go of those expectations and yeah, we be a beacon and we work well in this world to produce that light that we are. And yes, we also influence the people around us, but we don't lose that light when the people around us don't seem uh, to accept it or want to push back on it or tend to have that um, get in that grumbliness that gets created between us and others. Instead, we let that be over and over again. And that transformational journey says, no one's doing anything to me. This world isn't doing anything to me, right? I am creating my world. I am stepping up to the plate in my power, to this intuition, to this internal knowingness, and I am going to walk through and become that. And that is transformation. The transformational journey is about shedding and shedding and shedding our skins. It is about getting to that deep layer of truth within us that is connected to all things, to all nature. Getting here is whatever. And if we move forward with excitement, it won't be long before we see that how we got here is not important at all. 
all of the looking back is a distraction, a pull from a vibration that does not serve transformation. All of the looking back is about learning, learning our lessons. So it's important to see the past, to see what's happened to us, to see our traumatic experiences, but only to learn the lesson. So to vibrate, move those influences, those experiences out of us to vibrate at the level at which we want to. Does that make sense? And that is that transformational journey. That's the hero's journey. If you look to all of the hero's journeys, if you look all to those stories, right? It's about stepping into the power. I love Alice in Wonderland. That's one of my favorite stories. But um, when Alice gets down the rabbit hole, uh, she's looking around and, and, and all of the animals and creatures are there and they're asking this question, like, is she the right Alice? Is she the right Alice? Now some think she is the right Alice and others don't think she's the right Alice at all. And I think that speaks to how we go down those paths. We go down into our journey. We touch those, that wall. We touch our, our stepping over, but sometimes we pull back. You know, we, we're not ready. We're not the right Alice. We're not the right Sheena. We're not the right us, right? And it's about getting to that right us, right? And right is a trivial word, so I use it loosely. Um, getting to that potential, getting to our truth, getting to our intuition, our internal knowingness, getting to nature, getting our, to our connection with spirit, right? That's that transformation. And then the hero emerges. And what is the hero? The hero doesn't mean this um, amazing creature and this glorious thing. The hero is the person that creates their own reality that is able to slay the dragons, that is able to slay the Jabberwocky, that is able to take their mission on and complete it. That's the hero's journey. And that is the journey of transformation. That is the journey of the light from dark to light, right? And it's, it's, it's available to all of us. It has been going on for all of time. We're all given these opportunities uh, and it doesn't matter what our transformation looks like or our journey, um, but it is up to us to step into that power, to step into the world and say, I am a creator of, of this world, of my world, right? And I can create from a space of light and truth and honesty and authenticity when I create, when I shed the layers, when I move along the things that have stopped me, when I get over my walls, when I stop engaging with my fears, when I wake up to myself. And that is what I have on transformation. Um, have a beautiful day. And once again, um, you're not alone. You're not alone. We're all here doing this together. Thank you.